What's up guys? Adam here from Cat Claws and Guard Dogs here. Got some Cat Claw or Guard Dog products right here. Um, this is the Guard Dog Mini uh, Ice Edition. And then we got right here is the Cat Claw uh, Hard Water Edition made for the ice. Um, this is a kind of like a prototype here, but we're gonna be uh, working on this uh, come soon uh, Get this thing perfected for the ice. It has worked last year pretty well uh, Just a few minor, minor little bugs uh, to work out with it, but those should be um, Going out this year for people to order. What I'm gonna show you today this sweet combination with the hard water and the mini uh, guard dog uh, for ice fishing uh, the guard dog here this mini uh, same concept is the go the guard dog pros and pro twos uh, just smaller um, as well as the nose itself uh, still has the adjustable settings uh, got heavy um, all the way down to that light uh, setting um, so if you're looking for like panfish um, and the ice uh, usually they bite slow um, don't hit very hard so uh, the lighter you go um, the easier that will get triggered um, and if you're going for bigger game fish, uh, like northerns, walleyes, sometimes they like to run a lot. Um, so put that on a heavier setting uh, and get those good hook sets. And, uh, so what I'm going to do here is just set this up. Kind of show you how it works. Pretty much works the same as the, the Guard Dog Pros or Pro 2s. And then I'm going to kind of give you a little demonstration uh, using the hard water edition. Uh, this is just pretty much like a, I'd say like a light, medium light more of a light uh, rod here but I'm gonna give you a demonstration of kind of pulling this down and seeing how well this thing stays anchored because there's nothing holding this right now um, there's options on this pad like a hole if you wanted to put a spike in there uh, or uh, like a little uh, uh, ice pick down into that hole to keep this back end grounded but I'm gonna show you how well this thing just stays grounded without even being you know anchored down into the ice uh, so right now we're gonna, we'll just set this guy up. We'll put it on like a, a like even like a medium setting. Um, and for these kind of rods here, um, since it's pretty flexible rod, I like to put my guard dogs um, at like a good bend. Um, if you go a little bit lighter, um, it tends to not stay in as well. And that goes for all um, guard dogs, uh, from the pros to the pro twos to the minis. Um, depending on the action of your rod. Um, sometimes you may have to go a little bit more of a bend in that. Um, a heavier action rod, you don't have to put as much of a bend because there's more of a te uh, tension built up into the rod uh, for more force to kind of put onto this. So this one's a little bit lighter, so we're gonna go a little bit uh, more of a bend on it to get this thing to stay you know, straight and even uh, when it's up in the air there. So just like any uh, guard dog, you, what I do is I always just hook it through, um, put the line through the fork first, and then we put that right through the eyelet. And right now we just have it at a medium setting. Um, so you can see that it's pretty much right in the middle of the nose here. Um, so it's, it's fairly... Um, it's going to be triggered a little bit harder. Um, you can go to that lighter setting like I said. Um, I just got like a, I want to say that's like an eighth or a 30 second or a six, 30 sec, or a 16th ounce weight. We're going to see if this uh, can trigger it. Um, and if it doesn't, we're going to go lighter and lighter until we find that little, that tipping point of where just these little itty bitty bites um, can create this thing to uh, get triggered because I like to do a lot of pan fishing, a lot of perch fishing. Uh, perch really don't hit the baits really hard. They usually grab the bait and that's about it. Um, so sometimes you can't even, you don't even notice you have them on there. So let's see where we end up here. I uh, would just drop in this, I believe it's a 16th ounce. Uh, there's a treble hook on here. So I might want to watch out a little bit, but I'm just gonna go about fork level on the guard dog. Okay, so we didn't get triggered there. So now we're gonna slip this thing down to the lighter side here. So we're actually a little over uh, on the heavier side. So now we're gonna go about just uh, about a mark down um, on the lighter side now. Um, as you can see now, oh, 
as you can see now, it's more um, going closer to the end of that nose. So um, this might be able to trigger. Um, and for ice, ice fishing, I, I think it's pretty crucial to have that right uh, balance point of getting that bite and triggering this um, to get effective hookups. Uh, so here we go. We'll do that at fork level again. So that was just with a little, little weight here. As you can see, nothing heavy, uh, but just that little tick uh, sets it off. So, and it's same thing, same concept as the, the Pros and the Pro 2s, uh, just uh, micro, uh, made for smaller rods, nose is a little bit smaller and uh, a little bit thinner. Um, so that's gonna, you know, help out for these smaller rods. Some have smaller eyelets. Uh, mine are fairly big, so um, I've used the, the Guard Dog Pros and the Pro 2, or Pros and Pro 2s on my ice rods and they still work really well. Um, these are just more uh, fine tuning for these smaller rods and these lighter bites. Um, so now we got a fish on. I'm going to kind of go over this, um, what this uh, hard water addition is. This is kind of a concept that came up last year. Um, I didn't really sell any of them. I um, gave some away for people to test, uh, but that was it. Um, but I really want to kind of hammer down on these uh, this year. Um, but yeah, this whole stem here, this is all removable. Um, so you just take that wing nut off um, and then you can unscrew that. So compact, real nice, uh, super lightweight. Um, it's the same pad as I use on my stompers uh, for the original uh, rod holders for bank. Um, as well as this rod here, this is cold rolled steel. Um, then we just got it plasti dipped on these little uh, legs and feet here, as well as up here um, in this tubing, uh, which your rod sits in, that's all plastic dipped as well. Uh, but super lightweight, you can compact this down, uh, lay it flat, and you know, it's really not taking much room up. And then along with this guard dog, um, you can always just keep this strapped right on and ready to go. Um, it's just something super simple, super uh, compact and uh, easier to get out on the ice and get your get your stuff rigged up and ready to uh, catch fish uh, So yeah, we're just gonna go down here. We got nothing anchoring this thing And I'm just gonna show you Just how well this thing can anchor or stay anchored without even being anchored um, if we we're on the ice um, so I got this thing the the drag set pretty heavy um, for granted, this is a light rod, so I'm going to go pretty far down. I'm going to kind of get this to the edge here. And we'll see how much it takes to uh, move the back end of this, because that's where the force is coming. It's going to, eventually it's going to lift that up, but we'll see how far this takes it. So here we go. And that's, you know, I don't really want to go any heavier on my drag with that. Um, this is only like four pound test, so that would uh, result in snapping, but I just tighten the drag up even more and yeah, this thing ain't, it isn't going to go anywhere. Um, you got to factor in where your hole's going to be. Um, so when you get something taken down, you don't want it going way out here because then it, you know, it has, you know, it's going to move. Um, but if you have it straight down from where your tip to the, to the hole meet, it's not gonna go anywhere. So it's a well anchored uh, rod holder uh, for the ice, super compact, uh, very durable, um, and will last a very long time uh, for using. Well, that's all, I just wanna kinda give you a little preview on uh, some things that are coming uh, eventually to the websites, uh, guarddogproducts.com uh, and uh, Kakla rodholdersllc.com um, These should be hitting the, the web soon, hopefully, and uh, get on that ice fishing season, guys. Alright, I'm taking off. Thanks for watching. Keep on hooking.